we are just beginning to understand how big of a role our social identities can play in our interactions with others. And there's still so much we don't know about the way our identities can affect our mental health. My thesis will focus on how interracial or same race interactions will affect symptoms of social anxiety in black and Caucasian individuals. In order to study these effects, I will have a group of black participants and a group of Caucasian participants complete a categorization task known as the Implicit Associations Test, or the IAT. So let's start with some background on the subject. Social anxiety is one of the most prevalent psychiatric conditions in the United States. It typically develops in adolescence and is characterized by fear of social settings in which a person may face judgment from others. This fear can have a significant impact on daily functioning, as people with social anxiety may avoid everyday tasks like calling people on the phone or public speaking. Current research on how race affects social anxiety primarily focuses on Caucasian samples. Treatment for social anxiety does not consider racial factors that may affect mental health. Some studies have found that interracial interactions may increase symptoms in Caucasian samples due to fear of appearing prejudiced. Other research has found that social factors related to race, such as di discriminatory experiences, can exacerbate symptoms of anxiety and depression in black individuals. Specifically, research suggests that anxiety in black individuals is impacted by internalized racism, or the incorporation of the dominant racist narrative about one's own social group into his or her own beliefs. Many studies on social anxiety rely on self-report measures of perceived symptom severity that are subject to inconsistency and personal bias. Recent studies have investigated other methods of measuring attitudes in participants with social anxiety, such as the IAT. This test was originally developed to assess implicit biases on race and other social factors. During this task, participants will see images or words pop up in the middle of a computer screen and they will sort these images or words as quickly and accurately as they can into one of the pairs of categories on either side of the screen. They do this for several blocks of the task with different pairs of categories. Faster reaction times for pairs suggest that a participant may more readily associate the two categories. My primary aims with this study are first, to compare the results from the black and Caucasian groups on the IAT to see whether they exhibit different associations between race and social anxiety and second, to examine whether varying levels of social anxiety symptoms can predict outcomes on the IAT. I hope that this study will help us understand more about the relationship between race and social anxiety so we can develop more targeted forms of treatment to help those from minority backgrounds. 